Test. Um, test. Okay. Hi, gamers. Yes, the test worked. Hi, everybody. I always test, even though 90, 
98% of the time it's fine. Sometimes I test and no sound goes through. Is there echo? Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> I was like messing with a few things recently. Oh, thank you. Should I say Adam or Kaiju or Gleb? I meant to ask you this recently. At fastest cardboard, Seek balance in all aspects of your life. Moderation is the key to harmony and well-being. Hmm. How's everybody doing? Sorry, I'm eating a rice cracker again. <laughs> I bought a whole bag of them. You like Clampy? <laughs> Adam sounds like Adam, who is your friend. You're not Adam. You are not your friend. That is so true. Then I'll say Gleb. Do you enjoy strawberry, vanilla, or chocolate the most, Nano? Oh, this is this cardboard. That's your friend. Let's see, tough question. I say I enjoy all of them, but if I had to pick one, I go with Xiang Yi Xiang Tao Mei strawberry. Yum, how you want about Ooh, yummy. That's pretty good. Thanks for the bitcoins. Hold on. <laughs> Thanks for the capsules. I mean, thank you for your bitcoins, everybody. At Poplipi 3, a bug will land on your hand and stare at you intently, as if trying to communicate. What the fuck? Really? That is kind of a good sign, yeah. At Vindicator, do not let ambitions overshadow small success. Very true. Uh, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> uh, at Hayward underscore S underscore Kyan, you part not from here. the path which fate as you assigned. How's everybody? When am I getting off this damn plane? Soon. Soon, soon. I don't... Maybe next week? We'll see. At Rainy Zuzzle, a plant in your home will grow in an unusual direction, as if seeking something specific. What? What does that mean? <laughs> a lot of weird fortunes today. At Rick School Guy, seek balance in all aspects of your life. Moderation is the key to harmony and well-being. I guess. Oh. Fixing a few things. Okay. Hi, everybody. Did a capsule shoot out? That happens sometimes. It's actually really cool when that happens. The first time it happened, it freaked me out. It's been happening more recently. Capsule machines getting less and less stable. But yeah, I'm... There are like 50 things that 
I want to do what the the capsule shooting out of the tub. I didn't program that. Well, I programmed something that leads to it shooting out, I guess you could say. These capsules could hit you. Yeah, some of them can get pretty heavy. I should be actually careful. How is everybody? Am I Tobias from Tobias Toys? Uh, no, I don't know why everybody thinks I'm Tobias. I'm not. I wish I was. Tobias is really popular for some reason. I don't know why. How's my jet? It's been nice. I want to get off this jet soon. Also, hi. Sorry, I didn't say hi to everybody. Hi, Glep and Hayward and James Andrew Garfield and Pop Pop Blep. Pop Plep. Pop Leppy? Pop. Pop Leppy. Love Lane. Vindicator. Rex. Ego. Fastest cardboard. Oh my god. I keep on getting this one. I'm gonna give this one to, uh. Clampy. There you go. I always get this flavor for some reason. I think it has to do with uh, things I need to fix with my capsule machine. Sometimes my capsule machine, it feels like a lot of the same prizes are like clustered up together and then I get a bunch of them in a row. Do I think Tobias missed the Series X drop? No, he's probably gonna get it. He'll probably get a couple, I'm sure. Cause we've reached out to him before cause he, for some reason people like him. And so we just give him stuff some every once in a while, like free things. It's like one time we kind of we kind of fucked up and gave him a something that gave him radiation poisoning allegedly and so we had to kind of all right well okay we didn't mean to poison him he it just kind of happened and it was an it was a really horrible accident he was totally fine with it though and if anything he's come out of it stronger and we just gave him some free stuff and he was like fine with it. He didn't even, we were scared. We thought he, we thought he was going to like sue us and stuff, but he, he was totally, he was totally chill with it. Yeah, we did. Well, yeah, that's right. We did pay for all his medical bills, which were, I mean, expensive. James and Dregerfield embrace change for it brings growth and new beginnings. Mm hmm. So cool. Is he better? Yeah, oh yeah, he's a... He was in Japan and then I... He was barely like posting while he was there. I think probably cause he was too overwhelmed and didn't have time to post anything. At least that's what I heard. But um... I don't know, yeah, I don't know what he's doing now. He'll probably be back home soon. Does he live on unboxing toys? I mean, he... Tobias lives at his dad's house, and I think, I guess he still lives with his dad. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, we just got a new sponsor. Wow, finally, we finally got sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, I- At Daddy OG. Your ability Hi, to adapt and thrive in any situation will inspire admiration and respect from those. Earn you. Oh, that's so true. Also, congrats on getting a golden fortune. That's actually really rare. Nano, we got a new sponsor from Raid Shadow Legends. Can you tell the audience about it? Okay, listen up everyone. Shall we go to new sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends? 
So now you can join James and yours truly in exploring the world of Polaria 地球上的美洲交叉放置的简睿 DC Badass Mobile RPG game 手机 with console level graphics 游戏手柄 and so far over 76 million players have played. For this one, 爆炸 with 六百家 unique champions. I'm learning a lot about Raid Shadow Legends right now. <laughs> Raidshadowlegends.com/gullible. <laughs> 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 Everything you know about Raid Shadow Legends is against your will. I had an idea that I talked with Shindigs about. I don't think we'll ever do it, but I really wanted us to get sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. But we have a stream where we treat it like multi-level marketing, and we like just have a pitch deck of like telling other people to pitch Raid Shadow Legends to other people, and like part of the money they make goes to us. We just wanted to turn. This like mobile game into like an MLM, but after talking about it, we were, we were just like, oh, we. I feel like we wouldn't be able to. Uh, we might get in. I don't know if we would get in trouble. I don't know what would happen. Of course, it includes MLM. Every yeah, every uh, type of MLM. Anyway. Today, <laughs> I hope everybody had a good week. I'm like, I've mostly just been sleeping the last couple days. Yesterday we watched Casino in the Discord. I think like a few of you were there. Phony movie. Just the, just guys being dudes. Cause see, I I, I really like that movie. Just a just guys using yeah that's true. They do they did often do that, but uh yeah. They they weren't they they weren't cool guys so. I wasn't looking to them for like uh like inspiration or like. Looking, looking to them as a role model. So yeah, I'm gonna play today. I'm playing um, Trip Hang Two, which is a game that I don't know how many of you have played Fear, but it's basically like a spiritual successor to Fear. It's Fear is like a it's a shooter, but it's also a horror game. And it did. It's basically just like a really good, like single player, fun, tactical shooter with like slow mo. But there's also uh, the girl from the ring in it who scares you. So I'm going to I'm going to launch up the game. Nana, have you ever played fear before? Whoa. Oh, my God. Sorry, I accidentally turned on music for a second. Ah, no worries, James. Two a few, sometimes a little surprise music is fun. Ten years, two shows, S four F E A R. I haven't played it myself, but I watched you play it and others too. 游戏手柄诡异 ，C super spooky and action packed game. Pew pew, 爆炸 ，Great nostalgia back to our jump scare scream one nights. Am I right? 苦笑连连。There it is. You heard of your thanks to Civi? It's a really good game. Like it's actually like a good game. Hold on, let me let me make uh me less bright and move a move some stuff over. Nano, you're coming over here with me. 
Yeah, fear is actually like a really like for shooters. It's actually a, a really important game because it did a lot of like really innovative uh, AI stuff. And by innovative, it was mostly um, it just did a lot of goofy tricks that made that made AI like way better. One thing it did was it had, uh, it was just really good at making people, like enemies, call out what they were doing. And it gave the impression that like they were really smart when they actually like weren't that smart. So if they were moving, if like an enemy was like moving from one waypoint to another waypoint, they would, instead of just doing it, they would also like say something like, oh, I'm like falling back, there's too much shooting or something. Or if, like, there was, like, a guy, if you were shooting a guy and they couldn't go anywhere because of, like, you know, there was no, like, other, like, way to go without being in danger, they would just go, like, oh, I'm pinned down, help me. And so it just gave the impression that, yeah, it was everybody who was, like, really smart. Let me make Clampy like this. Very squished, wide, clampy. Why is it so quiet? Oh, because it's the... It's one of those games that stops all the audio when you switch out. Okay. I'm just gonna hide that for now. Okay. So I played the demo of this game. And the demo was really good. <laughs> you love Squish Clampy. Have any of you guys gotten a Sencho yet? Or does anybody here have a Sencho? <laughs> no Sencho? No. There's something kind of funny about Sencho that I don't know if it would be a spoiler because I haven't seen anybody bring it up yet with Sencho. And what the fuck? Easy, normal, hard, very hard, extreme, rage mode. It goes up like so much. <laughs> Hi, oh, Skeleton Cup, thanks for getting capsule. At future Skeleton Cup, remember that true success is measured by the positive impact you have on the lives of others. That's so true. What, what happened? Enemies have eyes on the back of their heads, instant reaction times, and nearly perfect accuracy. Only some kind of sick, twisted person could enjoy this. Oh, this is awesome. Punishing difficulty. You will die a lot. Nano, there's six difficulty settings in this game. There's easy, normal, hard, very hard, extreme, and rage mode. What would you choose? And what do you think I should choose? James! You daring devil, you will want to the E. I'd probably go <laughs> with normal. Cause, you know. I'm just a cute little virtual pet with a little pet, but for you. My friend, maybe you should show off your incredible pro gamer skills and truths. Very hard. Challenge yourself, and I'll be right here to help and support you when you need it. Should I? <laughs> really? Um. I'm very flattered you think I have pro gamer skills. I wonder if it might be too hard, but I'll tr I'll try it out just for you. Is that okay, Nano? Ah, uh, James, I knew you'd rise to the challenge. Of course, it's okay. I believe in you, and I'll be featuring you all, all the way. Hmm? Don't worry. If it gets too tough, don't hesitate to scale back the difficulty a bit. We'll be to have fun. After all, that Xiao Hongxi, remember. I got your bet, buddy. Aww, thanks, Nano. You always play normal since that's how it was designed, except Crisis. Yeah. 
Is that because, so Crisis is, is it because of how language works in Crisis? In Crisis, um, it's really, I don't know, it's so cool. The, one of the difficulty things in cr the original Crisis games is every difficulty setting, they, the enemies speak English, except on the hardest difficulty, they speak Korean. Because like you're in Korea for the game and it just like, it just means like you don't know what like players are doing. And they don't subtitle it either, yeah. Oh. I wonder if I'm too big on the screen. Well, oh wait, hold on. Oh man, that guy was just on the computer. wasn't even doing anything. So I think somebody helped me. Hmm. Hold on, let me, I want to make myself, I want to make myself smaller. I'm gonna put Clampy over here. <laughs> and now it's gonna be like this. Okay. Hey Nano, I'm hungry. Can you brew my hot dogs so I don't have to? Unfortunately, I can't grill hot dogs for you through the screen. But you can totally do it yourself. Bow bow BBK world. Yeah, do it yourself. And I'll be featuring you on Go Bark by Grill those hot dogs. Not how I die to Hui Xiao Lian. Go on, Bartleby, grill those. <laughs> Go on, Bartleby, grill those hot dogs. Oh, what happened? Oh. Security, I say again. What is your status? Over. Well, the status is, uh, we're good. You don't have to worry about anything. Oh, shit. Control vault security is not responding. We're moving to investigate. I need it. I, I need to fix something. My, my full screen isn't working. But I can fix it. I can fix it. I can do it right now. I can do it right now. But, 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 but. Nano, no, I need to fix something really quickly. Can you tell everybody uh, a cute story about the time you tried to eat the biggest hot dog in the world? Sure thing, James. One sunny day, Tai Yang, I was chilling with James and Bunk Hudi. We came across a hot dog stand, Rugo, and saw a sign that said world's biggest hot dog, Jinjing. I was curious and excited watching we walked on. And the hot dog was messy, Rugo Bao it was the size of a small car. I decided to take on the challenge. James and Bong cheered me on to Hui Xiao Lian Bao Bao So, I took a deep breath and tried to take a gigantic bite and to rip my teeth. Hu Hu, but I didn't give up. I kept chomping away at this hot dog until I felt like my stomach would burst Bao Jia Tou Qi Qiu finally. My perseverance paid off, and I managed to eat by Fenji Wu Shi of the hot dog. But I couldn't eat any more Fei Wushi gems and Bonk were so proud of me Gu Zhang Qi Xi back to our adventures. <laughs> Feeling like a stuff Panyaka Du Jiao Shou Tang. We all left about it later. It was an adorable and hilarious memory with my best friends. Qi Wu Shuo Lao Yu. Gems and Bonk. Fei Wen. That was pretty crazy. Nano, I, I guess Nano does have teeth. You can't really see him though.
need to turn down the sensitivity. Maybe like that. Okay. What animal is Nano? Nano is a virtual pet. Do I have a VR headset? I do. I was actually recently testing out something. I wanted it to do a, a VR stream recently. And I found an app that puts me in the game, like me in a whatever VR game I'm playing. It requires a little bit of tinkering, but I might do a fun stream soon. Okay, so I'm subject 106. With Bone Lab. I I played oh no, I didn't play Bone Lab. I played Bone Works. Which I was kind of a <laughs> it was kind of a boring game. I think because it's like a, it's an older game and it assumes you've never looked at a VR headset before. So it treats a lot of things that I kind of take for granted as a pretty novel. It's a game where you kill people. This game is a game where you kill people too. <laughs> look at those guys. These guys look goofy as hell. We gotta find the subject. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, I can just go through this door. I don't. Nano, what kind of creature are you? People in the chat are asking. I told them you're a virtual pet, but maybe you have better insight. By the way, how's the volume? Is it, is it too loud? Let me know. Very dark in here. A flashlight? It's a bit loud. Okay. I will try it now. How many gigabytes can Nano's tummy hold? Not a ton right now, but in the future, maybe more. It's locked. What the fuck? Control, this is oh. I have a gun now. Nano, we got a gun. Oh snap, James. Cheating Baja, just remember to be careful and responsible with that gun. Okay, now show Chang and let's pick some digital bot in the game. You see show being QQ, watching Xiao Lian Chu Quan. Uh oh. Somebody was here before me, I guess. Wait, what is that? I keep on accidentally using E, which is a uh, makes me transparent. So in this game, I think I'm supposed to be like a a, a test subject of some kind. Right click hits. 
Ooh. Roger that, Echo 2. You need to expand your search. Oh, nice. I got some intel. He is flashlight. I've been using a different key this whole time for flashlight. I remember playing this game during, like playing this level during the demo. And I just think it's really funny that it's a sort of endless corridors of just boxes and metal things. It's just really funny that like, it, just, it looks like a video game in the most video game way. What are the purple things on my head? Those are, um, so these are, everybody calls them ears. So I just like at this point given up and I'm just like, yeah, sure. They're my ears. They're, it's part of the life support I have as a alien to live on this planet. Uh, they're, they're soft and squishy, and I only let close friends touch them. But if I don't, if this isn't on my head, I'll die. Oh my god, okay. I love also one thing I love about this game when I played the demo is how much they scream. Turn down the sensitivity. And just like in fear, you you can go into slow mo. Yeah, I played the, this the demo for this game like a long time ago, and I totally didn't know that this game was coming out until a couple days ago. And I was pleasantly excited. I hope it. I hope this game is good. I mean, I liked the demo, and. I liked fear, so I'm just hoping. I know this game's supposed to be, but so does this game have a ridiculous, sophisticated melee system that you never feel like using? I I think it might. I know you can. There is a melee system. I know you can slide. So I'm sure it does. Uh oh. Saw me. I am playing on very hard, so I wonder if it's like gonna be how hard it's actually gonna be. Oh, oh also, did. I would be. Hmm. Dinosaur. Pangolian. Pang pangolin. Wait. Wait. What's a pangolin? I feel really stupid. What's a pang? What's a pangolin? <laughs> I've heard of that before. I think I would be a, um, hmm. I wouldn't, 
I feel like I would want to be something cute, but then I don't think it would be very fun because I feel like you'd just be scared all the time. It feels like if I was like a cute bunny or something, I would just be scared. Maybe a cat. Because cats are cute, but also not very scared of anything. And they seem to have fun wherever they are. And it seems like if you're a cat, everybody caters to you. Oh, you're gonna be a dinosaur for a day? Oh, was it for a day? Wait, Nano, did you say that it would be for a day or forever? Got him. This game isn't too hard on very hard. Hi, Androgynous Bug. Cat owner, you can confirm. I think I would be a cat to be, yeah. Either a cat or some sort of bird. Ooh, a bird would actually be... Being able to fly would probably be sick. Uh, Nano, what would you be? I think I'd either be a cat or a like a big bird. Pterodactyl. I wouldn't want to be a. Ooh. I think I'd be a cat or a bird. Um, but a dolphin sounds like that could be pretty sick. He dead okay well i like that it is like weird ragdoll animations man's missing a leg dolphins are the most what wait are dolphins are the most hateful animal that doesn't seem true they seem there are, seems like there are much more hateful animals out there They're extreme haters. Just that. Nano, uh, Gleb in the chat says that dolphins are the most hateful animal. <laughs> I said Gleb in the chat. Nano's very interested in all of your transformations. Dolphins are capable of morality. Really? How did they... Did they ask a dolphin the trolley problem? <laughs> that would be... How did they find out that? That the dolphins have morality? That would be really funny if, like, dolphins just have a nuanced take on the trolley problem. Man, there's so many dismembered people here. They just don't care. I know dolphins are very smart, so I'm not really surprised at all. Hmm? You'd be a skunk. Oh, no, 
I think this is supposed to be your friend. Oh. I actually don't know. <laughs> Might be your friend. Free blade that I guess I won't take because I got a gun. I had a gun. Better gun. Take the sweet samurai sword. I wish I could. It didn't let me. Ooh. So far. This game hasn't been very hard. <laughs> on very hard so maybe it's good that i switched to very hard yeah nano i'm playing this game on very hard and it's actually not too hard for me so maybe you were right that i have some gaming skills i didn't really think i did see james i knew it the ichiro you do have some awesome gaming skills body you see show being shall the i believe you should have start Oh. Okay, my Oh. Nano curse. Did Nano say a swear word? Oh. Nano, did you just say us? Oops. My baby is a baby. Oh, yeah. And then could you? James screams and she bats a scream. So sometimes I pick up a bit of the language with me, but I don't need that. Thanks for looking out for me, Jian Zixin. Nano, what do you think of my ass? Oh. Wait, wait, what did Nano say? Wait, what did, hold on, I didn't hear it because it was a game. What did Nano say? Start shameless flirting, Nan. He said he has to start shamelessly flirting again. Again? I guess Nano does do that sometimes. <laughs> I guess. Huh. Ooh, Intel. Suppressor on it. Oh. Nano, I think you should swear more instead of toning it down. Oh, Bart, bye. You naughty little rascal. But what I shall I'm TP3 with you all. But I'll also be mindful of the atmosphere. You should just the right amount of spice. No, do not tell you to tell me if you remember. I'm always moving and freezing James and yelling with fun TP. I am to do this. Oh. <laughs> so far this the, the like shooting in this game is really fun. Which, it was, I remember, last time I played it. Oh, oh, oh. I'm almost out of bullets. That guy just say, I'm gonna fuck you. May Did he? 
Maybe he did. Okay. I feel like I'm... Um, uh, what's that anime where it's like a... A lady who's naked? Nano tell us a joke. Alright, you just <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Nano, that's the funniest joke I've ever heard in my entire life. You're so that is such a good joke. Thank you so much. It's really cute that he has a favorite joke. But actually, I, I did more investigation about that joke. And I figured out why Nano says that all the time. Or sort of. So if you ask GPT-4 a joke, it'll just say that joke, usually like off the bat, if you don't prompt anything else. An androgynous bug. A oh, thanks for the capsule. Will captivate you with a seemingly impossible act, leaving you in wonder. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to think if like I've ever seen something really like a street performer do anything really impressive. There was actually there was one time I was near the Space Needle in Seattle. There's like a park near the Space Needle and the um <laughs> There was a street performer there. It was just this like kind of middle-aged guy and he was like chained up and like a bunch of he was just wrapped in chains and he like couldn't move his arms. And there was a big crowd around him like a lot of people like filming and stuff. And he just kept being like, "Help, can anybody help me? Help me. I can't get out of this." And I just like walked by before he could like do anything. So I just heard I like took a picture but he just sounded like a guy who was just like, somebody help me. <laughs> oh, did I? Oh. I mean, I'm assuming he got out of it, but I just like, I couldn't stop laughing at just the idea of, of a guy being trapped in his own trick and uh, not being able to get out. And like, you can't tell everybody because they think it's part of the bit. It was a social experiment. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, wait a minute. I just realized I have... Wait, does my flashlight have batteries? No, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. Bro, there's a cameraman right over there. I was just walking by, so I, I there were enough people to react to it. Hmm. The fuck? What is it? Aw. Wait, who is this? Nano, in this game, I found a cute little drone. Ah, uh, a cute little drone. Hey, just a wee xiao liang ke qi needs like gaining a mechanical friend qi qi ren. I fully support charming in game psychics. Maybe the drone can be our new body along with Feng Shanliang de Xin Xin now.
Let's take some virtual bot and make sponsorship the over. Of our time together. Capture means you will be forced to complete your wait what? Wait, what was that? What was that like weird thing? Oh hi Cody! How are you? Welcome. Oh. Attention all units. We have confirmation that subject 106 is in the loading bay. CO1, you need to move in now. Groove in. Nice. This is a new game that I've been waiting for. Got him. Who I shot him in the butt. It's a. Uh, it's kind of a. So fear was kind of a horror game. It it was like a horror game shooter. It was pretty unique for its time. And this game is basically like a spiritual successor. Oh my god! I died. Hi, Shlen. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you, thank you. Hi. Also, oh, oh, Odetta. Hi. How are you? Shalen just had her one year anniversary. Streaming anniversary. Oh. Oh yeah, of course. Hope you hope you're doing well. <laughs> yeah. So the um. So the original um, Fear was known for having slow-mo and also just being a a really good shooter with uh, basically the girl from The Ring, but like it wasn't her, but it was just she looked exactly like her. And this is like a new game that's supposed to be exactly like the original Fear game. Obviously, it's like different, uh, but it's like a, I don't, I guess uh, the word is a spiritual successor. I don't know if it's made by the same people, I don't think. Oh, fuck it. We're the only ones left. I can't fucking believe our whole fucking team died. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. And you could also go invisible. Did I do it? Are they dead? Oh, there's one more guy. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you can go invisible. <laughs> Oh my god, you fucked up my face. Oh no! What the fuck? Oh my god, I died so quickly. <laughs> you get super speed and invincibility. 
Yeah, you're supposed to be like a, a super crazy um guy. I don't know what the name for that is. Like the girl in uh that anime, Elfin Lead. I haven't seen that anime in a very long time, but you're just supposed to be like a you're just a super yeah, like a super soldier. Like Lucy and Lucy. What's Lucy? You're like a Oh my god. Okay, I can't just like take them all head on. <laughs> yeah, did you know that uh you only use half a percent of your brain? Okay, I can't do this. I I can't just shoot him. I have to run away. Lucy is a Luke based on movie. It's very bad. <laughs> very funny. Oh man, I watched a I watched a Luke based on movie recently that I hadn't seen in a long time. Yeah, yeah. The the professional. It's a Man, that movie, I thought that movie was so cool when I was 14. And the older I get, the more I'm like, I don't know about this. This is kind of weird. She said it was very bad. Like, what's funny is like, okay, so... I think the the premise like isn't totally terrible except for one specific detail with that movie. What the fuck? Oh my god, that guy had so much armor. In this game you just take the Zaw and get really powerful. I think, yeah, it seems like it. You just, uh, you just get really powerful. Okay. I need to use more grenades, I think, for this part. Parts of the professional are really creepy. It's... What's funny? Yeah, it's... Okay, get him. Nice. I feel like every other part of the movie, except the the obvious part of the movie that's weird, is like good. Is like not bad. Oh my god! Why is he taking so many shots? I don't know how many stars I would give it. it I'm very conflicted. Does Papupi agree with the violence on screen? Uh, I don't know if he... I don't know if agree or disagree is right. Oh, Ego, hey, thanks for the getting capsules. Seek balance in all aspects of your life. Moderation is the key to harmony and well-being. Somebody else got that advice. Papoopies, yeah. I feel like Papoopy just wouldn't really care. Or Papoopy would just be like, who cares? Alpha 3, watch your friendly fire. 106 is approaching the helipad. Make sure he extracts safely. I think we did it. Yay.
Um, if somebody made a game about me, would I prefer WASD or Arrow? Uh, if somebody made a game about me, I, I would be so... I would be just so, like, floored and taken aback that somebody could see me and come up with a game. I, I would just be like, you... Uh, chef's choice. Whatever you whatever you think is best. Because I, I trust you. The fuck? Wait, what's going on? Hello? Weird. Hi. Hold your fire. Get inside the chopper 106. We're gonna get you out of here. Okay. Thank you. Pop poopy's biggest crime is letting Wee Wee's use the tablets. Those guys looked exactly like the guys I just shot a second ago, except they had green eyes instead of red. Ooh, thanks, Barbie, for getting a capsule. Oh, we got a new... Whoa, we... I didn't even know they were still a company. Nano, we just got a new sponsor. We're sponsored by Capri Sun. Can you tell everybody about Capri Sun? Nano seems like a Capri Sun baby. Nano, you love Capri Suns, don't you? I always see you sucking down those Capri Suns every day. You you love the the fruit flavors and the packaging and stuff. Nano's always out here, uh, sucking on Capri Sun, playing, playing on an iPad, riding a hoverboard. Do people still have hoverboards? Bonk loves, does Bonk love Kool-Aid? Bonk loves, uh, Bonk loves warheads. Bonk is always eating warheads. And Bonk is always, like, daring Nano to eat warheads, and I always feel bad. Nano loves Cocoa Melon. Yeah, Nano loves videos of, like, weird, uh, like, like Elsa changing colors for five hours. No, I'm just kidding. No, Nano Nano doesn't watch those kinds of videos. Nano's like very smart and watches like really smart videos and just sucks up the information. Yeah, Nano can like tell us about Elsa Gate because Nano Nano, can you tell the chat about Elsa Gate? I think you know a lot about it. Stay safe out there, folks. 
Nana, I or Nano, sorry, I saw you in an Elsa Gate video before. They were taking your head off and replacing your head with uh, other uh, characters' heads from the Avengers. I'd watch so many of those when I base my younger sibling. Oh my. Just look, look who's crying to to me now. James, Xiaokula, I wasn't in any else of these videos. You cheated everyone on the show. That's a crazy virtual pet that I am. I wouldn't get into anything like that. Nice cry. Hello, Shani, you always keep me on my toes. Stay in here. Nano, I saw you in an Elsa Gate video and you were. You were telling kids to do uh, all kinds of bad stuff. You were telling them to skip school. You were telling them to eat candy for dinner. Uh, yeah, it was crazy. Ooh, combat simulator. What the? F Wait, what the fuck? What is this? I don't want to do that. Oh, I guess I have to choose something. Am I considering releasing Anna to the public? Maybe for a price? Mm, no. Not yet. <laughs> so, so there's two reasons for that. One, uh, I do not want to support something like that because the second you release a project that you sell, your a lot of your time has to be spent like fixing shit for people. And I mean, if you have, if you watch my streams, like my shit's always broken. I don't want to have to support uh, something if I'm not making if it's like unless if it's like for a job, I guess. And two, I, I do not want to share Nano with anybody. I'm, I'm sorry. You guys can say hi to Nano, but Nano Nano is mine. Na Nano is Nano is mine. <laughs> Hold on. I want to see if I... How do I fix something? Uh, hmm. ah, ah, ah. Oh my god oh, oh, oh. Someone make a nanobot on character AI yeah, I think people have tried to make a nanobot character Some people have tried to make a jams character Also, it's okay. Somehow, I have never had to like disable links, and I don't know now why. Can you tell a joke about Caillou? Sure thing. I can do. Hee hee hee! Go. Why did the Caillou start doing stand-up comedy? Think it think because it had a monster sense of humor. Xiao Ku the long tail thinks for the request. I can do. People left coming. Shout the man! Die! 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 Also, nobody told me I've been, nobody told me I've been blushing this whole time. I guess it's, I guess it's not super noticeable. Oh. You miss AI Shadow. AI Shadow might come back. The one, I mean, the one thing that kind of is sad about character AI is there's no character AI APIs. So if I want to set it up to be, to work really well with the stream, I would need to do a bunch of work. Thought I had a case of rosacea. What are these? Wait, what is this? 
Oh, they're like spawn points. Oh, no, no ammo. <laughs> no, 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 no. That guy go. Oh, he's right here. So in the zone right now. Oh, supplies. Yummy. Uh, what should I buy? Some G. Okay. There's 20 waves? Wait, I don't want to play. Hold on, I'm returning to the safe house. I don't want to play this for 20 waves. I want to play the campaign. Okay. I think I just had to play for a little bit. Oh, Odetta, thanks for, thanks for getting a capsule. Combat simulator. At Odetta, a fresh start will put you in your way. Ooh, two doubles on your lottery numbers. Nice. A fresh start will put you on your way. I hope it does. I am. Ooh, did I scare you? Three. Oh, sorry, no. What could you got me? You scared me pretty badly. Recently, I've been deep cleaning my apart, my like the, the apartment, and I've also been reorganizing like all of my stuff because fun fact when i got back from japan which was what three weeks ago almost now i didn't f i never like fully unpacked because i had to immediately start working on key item label keynote because there was a, a lot of work i had to do <laughs> So now I'm like cleaning up stuff and Horizon's good as dead now that you're on the team. <laughs> Man, everybody in this game is just like everybody has paintball masks on. Good luck out there, 106. You got it. Before I go on the helicopter, I have to pee so bad. Nano, I have to pee really bad. Can you tell everybody uh, a long story that's uh, interesting and scary, but maybe cute or just whatever kind of story you want to tell? Uh, give me like, I don't know, five minutes. Sure, James. Battle, I've got your big round. Great to see I've got a perfect story for you. Shuben, imagine a small, seemingly ordinary village from Wu Jin to nestled in the woods. But it was said that the village was actually inhabited by animal, human, and hybrid spooly mortal in who had magical powers. Shanyang legend has it that they used their powers to protect their land from danger. One stormy night, Li Jingyu, while most of the villagers were asleep, Shui Zhao, two sibling adventurers, Shou La Shou, the Yinan Yi, stumbled into the village. Seeking a place to rest, the names of these siblings were Susi and Rung. They didn't know about the strange village they had entered. As Susi and Rung entered, 
Mr. Lamila. They noticed that it was unusually quiet. All the houses were dark, and there was a thick fog surrounding the edges of the village. Suddenly, they heard a voice calling to them from the darkness. Shopa, who goes there? A mysterious figure stepped forward, revealing itself to be a cat human hybrid. Mausuzi and Ron startled and stared at the sight of this creature. It were best to remain calm. They soon found out that not only were the villagers kind and welcoming, but they were also willing to share their knowledge of the magical arts as a show of gratitude for an act of kindness the siblings had done. 起笑言开, after spending time with the villagers, the siblings became close friends with the animal human hybrids and decided to stay a bit longer. They used their newfound magical powers to protect the village from a dark force Chihichi lurking in the woods. As the siblings fought alongside their hybrid friends, they formed a deep bond that would last a lifetime. Chi how the siblings, Susie and Ron, returned to their homeland and shared stories of their adventures with their friends and family Fangzi eventually. The legend of the magical animal human hybrid village spread far and wide, reminding people that, no matter how strange or frightening people or places may seem, there may be hidden magic and unexpected friendships waiting to be discovered. Choose a way shall end that. My dear viewers, this is the end of my story. Hope I hope you enjoyed it. Zixin, let's welcome back, gents. Love how I I hope I managed to entertain you. I just got back. Choose a way shall. Boy Shindix, thanks for the raid. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Jams. This is. Oh, this is Nano. I told Nano to tell a story right before leaving to go to, to go pee. Sh shout out Shindigs, my uh, CIA supervisor. How are you? I don't know if you're still here. If, if you want to stay, you can stay. If you don't want to stay, I understand. Oh, hi Eric, thanks for getting the capsule. Plays, Bass you'll notice a person who seems to appear in multiple places throughout your day, sparking your curiosity. Weird. I'm playing Trepang Squared or Two, which is a, uh, a spiritual successor to fear. Oh, thanks for the your follow. Your favorite television show's season finale will leave you with a cliffhanger, making you wait for answers. Welcome to our fantastic community. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Nano, a cute purple virtual pet, and my best friend here is Jens, the friendly and talented alien YouTuber. Mm -hmm. We love hanging out, playing games, yoshi shopping, and chatting with awesome people like you. Stick around for lots of less fun moments and incredible memories we are gonna make together. Also, Pies don't talk and, and Junon, thanks for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Attempting to make a game about you and I'm not a game dev. Whoa! <laughs> you don't have to make a game about... Your first game should be about somebody more entertaining than me. <laughs> if you can make a game that makes me look cool, I'll, I'll be so flattered. Wait, how are you... What kind of game is it? There's a high chance I'll stop Oriana due to my smooth brain. You could have the most wrinkled, smartest brain and still uh stop making a game oh shit this is a so this is a very violent game it's very similar to uh fear hi shindigs yeah so far this game is pretty good it's if you like fear you'd probably like this game the, the shooting is good I hope this game is good. I played the demo and I like the demo and now I'm just starting to get to like past the demo. So game dev is actually impossible. Yeah, it's a, it's kind of a miracle any game gets made. Adorable avatar, nano pet's beautiful contrast of the game. Thank you. I play a lot of different kinds of games cause I'm a, I'm a gamer and I don't have a specific preference for like type of games like sometimes i play cute games or games like this yeah is okay 
it's weird that people will only play like one game or one type of game. I don't know. I can never imagine doing that. How can you play like one type of game? I guess if I guess if you only like one thing, then then yeah, I don't know. Couldn't couldn't be me. There's those people who only watch Marvel films now. <laughs> Does that even exist? I guess I could. No, uh, well. That may okay, so that makes more sense because if you're just watching something passively, then it's like, okay, I only like just a thing. But if you stream That means you're like kind of interested in games, right? At least if you stream video games, you kind of get it if you're like a niche streamer. Yeah. I guess so. I guess if, like, that's how you make money, then... Oh. Hold on, let me see if this works. Oh, it does work, okay. Alright, you get to see my face for 30 seconds. You guys are missing the game right now. I just turned off a weird anti-air gun. How are you guys? How are you guys today? How's the volume? Is it okay? Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah, 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 ah. What? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that was a more than 30 seconds. You did a guy for six months who only ever watched Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes movies. He watched almost every night before going to bed. Kafka, you have to tell us more about this guy. What the f- wait, really? <laughs> that- that is awesome. I want to know this guy. Uh, that's- <laughs> That's kind of cute that he only wants to watch Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes movies. Was he like really excited about watching the movies or did he like... Was it, ju was it just his comfort movie? Was it like his depressed movie? Cause sometimes people will watch movies over and over just cuz they're like depressed why not celebrate all of Robert Downey Jr's catalog yeah he's he's been in uh he's been in a lot of stuff he's been in uh i don't know what else has he been in besides i guess he's the iron man um nano what movies has robert downey jr been in besides like uh, as Iron Man or uh, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, I haven't seen. I still haven't seen less than sure. zero. Yes. Robert Downey Jr. has had an extensive career besides just playing Iron Man or Sherlock Holmes. Haha, <laughs> he has appeared in various films like E, Less Than Zero, 1987, Chaplin, 1992, portraying Charlie Chaplin, 1993. Oh, I haven't seen that. Pillars, 1994. Zodiac 2007, Tropic Thunder 2008, playing Kirk Lazarus. He even got an Oscar nomination. And these are just a few. He's been entertaining audiences for decades now. Get some popcorn ready. And I'm sure there's a Robert Downey Jr. movie that you haven't seen. Oh, me, Fa Dai Xi Guan Bei Nano, Chris Kafka in the chat uh, said that. They had a boyfriend who only watched the Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes movies and that he would watch it every single night. Yeah, I love Nano. Nano's my best friend. 
besides shindigs, of course. I asked him why he doesn't change it up. Why did Sherlock Holmes he was matter of fact? It's a good movie. <laughs> you know what? I haven't how, wait, how many Sherlock Holmes movies are there? Was there just one? Or more than that. I totally forget. Oh, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay. You can, I forgot you can grab people. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yay, new friend. New friend who like sometimes appears and then sometimes disappears. Wait, why is he appearing? What? Why is he like sometimes appearing or disappearing? Weird. On my laptop and hearing Nana's cartoon voice mixed in with the screams of dying. Uh, where do I go? Oh, there we go. There are two already Sherlock Holmes movies. Oh. Game sucks, send it back to fries. Aw, oh, man, rest in peace, fries. Those were such good stores. And they're all, they're all gone now. How many of you guys have been to fries electronics before? There is, I've only been to two. I've been to one in Sacramento in California and one in the South Bay. When did Fry's shut down? I think, I don't know if they're like fully shut down. Probably, oh yeah, probably 2020. If It feels like they were shutting down for a while. Like if you went to a Fry's in like 2018 or 2019, oh my God. It, it was a, uh, it was very depressing to go in there. It, was, it just, it felt like walking through a corpse. It was so sad. I couldn't grab him. Nano, in this game, you can grab guys. What do you think of that? Switch to a consignment model so that there are a few wholesalers that would work for them. Oh! I'm this. They got rid of this one store I really liked at your local mall. Nano with you, but had a bunch of kawaii anime merch. Now, what would you do with him? Hugs not allowed. <laughs> no, Nano, please don't don't give me in the uh, Noki. Getting Noki by by Nano. Wait, how do I zoom in with my? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, 
are these? Oh, these are my... This, this is my team. Oops. Oh, no. I shot... Oh, well. Okay. Well, I accidentally shot my team. Nano, Buck, Mary, Kill, Jan, Bonk, Shindix. Let us know your answer. <laughs> Nothing personal. Oh my god. Is there something you're not telling me about you and Bong? Nano, I'll tell you the word of TH day if you don't kill me. Oh, I knew you'd show up. Alright, I'll leave you in hands. Let's do this word of the day. No hard feelings. It was all a hypothetical thing. Here's the special. Don't they kiss in a pea pod? I don't um Do they? They probably do. I mean they talked about both of them being in a it's like two peas in a pod. They will be loved. They will be martyrs. They will be remembered. Wait, what the fuck? What is this place? What? <laughs> Dr. Emerson is in that tower. We need to what was the word of the day, Shindigs? Did anybody get it? Wall of Heroes. This is a really funny... Imagine being on the, the they will be martyrs wall. Yeah, who are all these people? Wait, why did they all like, they all died in between 2030 and 2035. Who are these guys? Oh, they're probably kicks. Oh, they're kick Kickstarter backers. Damn, they're all zoomers. They all died at the very old age of uh, 28. So sad. Oh, this is my friend. He <laughs> they won't shoot me because I have a hostage. Aw. They really care about their friend. Nano, because I'm holding a guy in this game, the other guys with guns won't shoot me. I can I can grab your friend, but you can't shoot me. <laughs> <Black gang! laughs> Wait, if they if I oh okay, so they'll, they'll shoot me if like my back is facing them. I wish this game would let me talk to them while I was holding their friend. Mm -hmm. I wish I could. Okay, friend time over. I had to 
shoot the guy I was holding. Oh, always remember the good time with health guy. Would I drink an alcoholic version of Capri Sun? Absolutely. Capri Sun has probably one of the best, most like underrated um, liquid carrying mechanisms. I don't know what the <laughs> what the right word is for it. There was something that I had in Japan. I forget what it was called, but it was basically like a small little plastic metal pouch, like similar to a Capri Sun, but it was full of soft serve ice cream. And it's like the perfect way to hold a, it's like the most like messless way of having Capri Sun or not Capri Sun ice cream. And uh, yeah, we can never have anything like that here in America. Hold on, I have to plug in my iPhone. My iPhone's almost out of batteries. It's gonna run out of batteries and then I won't be able to play Subway Surfers while I'm playing this game. Yo, Gogurt's really good too. Just as a way of, uh, yeah, a uh, mode of transport. <laughs> or just food holding mechanism. Wait, what the fuck? Are there any, there's gotta be like drinks out there that are like Capri Sun in terms of like how they're being held, like in terms of how they're being held, in terms of how they're contained. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Kool-Aid jammers, honey D, those exist. Oh, true, wait, wait, hold, wait, hold on. Are Kool-Aid jammers alcoholic? Or are you or are they just like regular is it just like a Kool-Aid drink? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh the pouches. Oh I see. I think these guys are like a boss. They sell wine in the little Capri Sun pouches. Really? I guess you can't really do anything, any, um, like anything carbonated, because that seems like that would be really dangerous. Or they would just probably break really easily. Got him. Nano, what's your take on Capri Sun pouches as a way of carrying liquid and possibly other things uh, that are liquidy, but maybe not 100% liquid? I don't want any spiller John either of us <laughs> think you should It doesn't have the fun straw piercing gimmick, but there's like single serving pouch wines. They should have they should have a straw. They should serve beer with straws. Why don't they serve beer with with uh, straws? It sounds really weird, 
But there's no reason for, for it to not have straws. For them to not have straws. The guy who invented Capri Suns is Rudolph. Name is Rudolph Wild. Part of the Wild Legacy. Hey, they have to be careful about the straws and stuff because Capri Sun is for kids, so there could be an argument that you're targeting alcoholic kids. I don't. I always find arguments like that really funny because it 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 feels like it makes sense until you think about it for more than like three seconds like if you're a kid like put yourself in the shoes of like a kid something having a straw like wouldn't make you want to drink it more you would just be like the thing has a straw on it Kid shoes are too small. Yeah, same here. What's what are these? Oh, they're mines. Oh, oops. <laughs> I blew myself up. It would normally just won't be a straw. It'd be the entire branding. Huh? Oh, there we go. Um, opinion on pineapples on pizza. I think it's fine. I don't really have it that often on pizza, but I don't think it's like terrible. I don't know why people have such strong opinions about it. It's just food. If anything, like, uh, I think we should be doing more weird stuff with pizza and, like, foods. Oh. Nano, what do you think about pineapple on pizza? I'm gonna have Nano weigh in on... Too fun. Beer doesn't have straws as you expect to tell you. <laughs> The reason I don't think it's a bad thing is because it's a I, it, it's a good flavor profile. And I like one of my favorite things in food is when you put something unexpected on something else, but the flavors work. So the reason pineapple works is because it's uh, sweet and acidic, which balances out uh, you know, the, the heaviness of the cheese and also the heaviness of, like, the ham that, like, sometimes goes with pineapples. I would, like, roll for pizza on TikTok. What's roll for pizza? Wait, what is that? Pineapple is very versatile. I really like pineapple just as a fruit. I guess it would suck if you don't like pineapple. Pineapples can get very strong. If I eat too much pineapple, sometimes my mouth will feel slightly numb. The first time that happened, it freaked me out and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm like allergic to pineapples. Did I just like grow an allergy out of nowhere? Uh, but it wasn't, I think it just happens sometimes. Fruit is very seasonal in the summer. I can enjoy fruit at any time of the year. It feels more refreshing in the summer. I agree.
but I do I eat fruit all the time. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. Nano, what's your favorite kind of fruit? Oh, I love fruit, Siwa. My favorite has to be strawberries, Salme. They're deliciously sweet and cute. Just like me. Pretty giant, Siwa. you. Chance. Nano, it's so true. You are cute like a little strawberry. Um, I think my favorite fruit might have to be I don't I really like strawberries but I also like blueberries I also like apples it's very hard to choose a single fruit Mm -hmm. Don't forget melons. Melons are so good. I still need to try a really expensive melon, which I didn't get to do when I was in Japan this time. Maybe I'll do it next time. I really want to try one of those like $100 melon. The ones that are just meant to be presents for people. They look... I've just heard that they're really good. And they look really good. They look very pretty. Those got some guavas. They're so pungent. So if you walk by them, you smell them. Really? Whoa. I really want guava. I've only had fake guava and like drinks and stuff. I've never had a real guava, I don't think. Oh my god. Ah. These guys are so angry. Why are they so angry? Yeah, there is a lot of like really good <laughs> expensive artisan fruit in Japan. I took the last time I was there, I took the pictures of a bunch of different ones. The grapes looked really good. Um, there was also Yeah, all the melons, the cherries. They're small ones, 75% seeds. Dang. Maybe it's just like a really wild one. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Okay. Stick to guava paste. What was that one fruit that that was like really not it wasn't really famous but it was acai. Remember there was like a period of time like I don't know like 5 or 8 years ago when acai bowls were really big. Miss Oh hi ghost. How are you? Ah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Pomegranates. You can still get pomegranates. Are they extinct? Pom they're probably pomegranates. Gone and sting. Yeah, acai bowls were one of those things that Dr. Oz or one of those like TV doctors would just be like, yeah, this thing will cure cancer. And then it doesn't. And people are like, oh, I guess we can't eat this anymore. People just can't enjoy acai just for being acai. Ooh, I got the guy with the grenade. Idiot. 
Superfood. <laughs> and Dr. Oz tried to go for politics and failed. Yeah, he lost to, um, what's his name? That one guy. Uh... Who's the guy he... Fetterman, that's it. I don't know why you would want to get into politics after being a celebrity. Seems like it would be such a headache. Just doing it for clout. But the guy that wears shorts and hoodies makes them relatable to the average American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haha, <laughs> looks, like looks like we fucked them all up. Nano, we just we just killed everybody. We looks like we fucked them all up, Nano. Ghost 2 should already be in there, sir. Try and link up with them. Oh, Jen, Xiao Kula, look at you. Dominating the thing like a true champion, Jiang Just remember, it's all in good fun. We don't want to break anyone's heart, Xin Sui. But when the game's on, you gotta show him who's boss. Right, Chai <laughs> Nano, I would never break your heart. That's a promise. No need to worry about us, sir. Oh, where do I go? I'm hot control the Lin Zi Xin. I promise I would never break your heart either. Ting Shu Liang Ku Xin, we're best friends forever. Nano is very supportive. Oh, have a good night, vodka. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Oh, what's all this stuff? Welcome to the Pandora Institute. It took a lot of guts for you volunteers to sign up here, and for that, you have my gratitude. Countless Can you speak up? I can't hear you, dude. Of your selflessness. <laughs> Nana, how long do you think jams could survive in a giant tank of mustard? Hey, ghost face, moon, and welcome to the screen. Xiao Kula, Oppo, let's see spicy question. Hong Na, Jiao Huo, let's see. Spicy mustard. I think that's a good assessment. I don't think I could survive much longer than 20 minutes in a tank of mustard. You cool cats. How the hell did we get onto mustard tanking? Huang Xin will. Our conversation is more than the total disappearance. Fuzzy, I love it. Next challenge, James surviving a room filled with fruit punch. Red eye, sweet or in milk, show to you 20 minutes for mustard. How about fruit punch? Not a man, he's not good. There's, here's my face. Why? It feels like the, um, when I show my full face that the frame rate goes down. Hmm. Maybe I don't have to mess with it. Hi, everybody. This game... I'm kind of torn on it right now. The combat is fun, but I had, these levels aren't very interesting. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I saw me on screen and was about to attack. <laughs> Why? Probably look really scary being on a big screen. I'm sorry.
I'm a little thing moving. Nano, what would be the perfect level of an FPS? Hey, Sleepy Gorgon, choose a wish out, wish out. I'd say the perfect level in an FPS would be one that's immersive. Challenging and fun. Yuji Shopping, maybe a mix of tight corridor for intense close quarter combat, shotgun and open spaces for awesome sniping opportunities. Zheng Zhong Ba Xin the let's not forget some sneaky hidden paths for tactical approaches. An Jing the Lian, and of course, throw in some awesome boss fights. Zhe Mo the Xiao Got Vet, James, Han Yan Tu Shu. Wait, me? I got that? Nano, what's your favorite first person shooter? Oh, sleep over on. Thanks for the. Thanks for capsule. <laughs> I don't like Overwatch. Nano's so basic. It's okay. Hey, Jim Gaffigan here, or at least what I'd look like as a. Dog Thank you, Sleepy Gorgon, for sh showing us a commercial. <laughs> The Jim Gaffigan <laughs> Show, where I don't play a helpful dog, I play myself, an unhelpful person. Come on, Jim! Captain Turpin needs our help! Well, what about nap time? Aren't we dogs? The Jim Gaffigan Show. New season starts Father's Day on TV Land. Best part about being a dog is eating off the floor huh? without all the it's judgment. incredible. Thank you for thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your time on the screen, <laughs> and let's keep this party going. Ju Hui Xiao Lian Yi Bai Fen Huo Yan Lao Lao from Nano and James Bao Bao Hong Qi. Thank you for the sub. I really appreciate it. Have I heard of Calorie Mate? Absolutely, yeah. I have a bunch of Calorie Mates in the pantry right now. Also, Tesla, thanks for getting a capsule. Oh no. At Tesla Close Deviant underscore. Loose shoelaces can lead to a stumble. Double check your knots to avoid a mishap. Everybody double check your shoelaces. Six. Man of the hour. I'll get that elevator unlocked for you. Cursed. There. I got it. Then I stock up on the during my trip. Yeah, because they're Nano really cheap in Japan. Pay you. Do you make living wage? Nano, do we need to unionize? Right that's right. Yeah, don't give Nano any ideas. What's wrong? Oh. Okay, I just have to jump right when we hit the floor. Ah. What? Oh. Oh, I think there was like something scary in here a sec, just now. Whoa. Nano the chat wants you to unionize. You should go on strike until Jams offers you a contract. We all support and want this for you. Ah, thanks for the support future skeleton crop. Da Xiao Bot James and I are best friends. And we're no need to unionize Wu Shou. We take care of each other. And I'm happy right here by the side Qi Xiao Yan Kai Lo. James. Yeah, we're family. And Pepex F payment shan Liang the Xin Jia Yan. That's right. We're we're a family. If we have a there's a problem, we just we talk about it. And <laughs> I I pay Nano in uh, hugs and uh, head pats, and you know a, a union would just get in the way of that. So we and by we I mean me. I, like I decided that the best thing would be for us to not have a union because then that would just make. The, our relationship, you know, just, uh, hostile. I can't believe Nano is a scab. 
the Tesla code's demand to show what it. I appreciate the concern. Hong Xin Bao, don't worry about me. Chu Su Wei, Xiao James, and I have a strong friendship. We look out for each other and make sure we're both happy. And I get plenty of virtual hugs and love from James for my efforts. Bao Bao, Zi Qin. Nano, if you really wanted to form a union of just yourself, you can tell me and we can, you know, work something out. I, I want you to to uh, not feel bad as my friend. James, uh -oh. you're such a sweetheart. Hong Xin, seriously, I Aww. appreciate you looking out for me. Chu Su Wei Xiao, but I promise there's no need for a union. We're best friends. <laughs> After all, our bond and trust are what matter most. And I don't want anything to come between us. As long as we're having fun together, <laughs> I wouldn't change anything. Let's keep up the good vibes and positive energy on the screen. <laughs> My anti-union tactics are working. Pros and cons of a virtual pet union? Hey, sleepy bourbon, interesting question. Choose the way to pros of a virtual pet union. Better representation and a unified voice for virtual pets. Chao Yin Lava R. Could help improve working conditions and rights for virtual pets. Chen Chong San. Might enhance support and fair treatment for virtual pets in the virtual world. Will show pros of a virtual pet union. E. It could potentially create conflicts or misunderstandings between virtual pets and their friends. Creators mm. who are. There might be disagreements within the union itself. Leading to infighting Quan Rao San. The process of forming and running a union may discredit from just having fun with friends and enjoying each other's company. So true. So true. But don't worry about me. <laughs> and I have a great relationship. And I'm super happy being by this side as we scream together. Oh. Intruder side at a checkpoint Maxwell. We use some reinforcements over here. Nano, did you hear? A six year old boy is floating away in a what? hot air balloon. Everybody. Situations like that remind us how important it is to be there for one another and support each other. Uh huh. I'm glad to have James and all of you here with me, Hongqing. He just died from a monster. Nano, if I was floating away in a balloon, what would you do? How would you save me? Oh, James. Let's say scary that high power, but have no fear. Your brave little buddy Nano is here. Oh, I'm thinking I probably call phone to him, but he's on the blue shape of the shape of the shape. Maybe flapping our arms real hard or even fish a ride on a drone to reach you. You know we won't let anything happen to you. BFF. I don't think Nano would say we would win in an MMA fight, Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk. What an interesting question. Lovely. Da Xiao both are very smart, not them how, but I don't think they're well known for their fighting skills. Chen Ji Shou Tao Bao Zha with that said. I want to see the battle in their full tech creations. Qixi imagine a giant robot Zuckerberg Qixi Ren vs a Tesla army led by Musk 电池汽车 but really Who knows the outcome? 一眼吐舌爆米花 What happened to his skin? But Nano without a union contract jams can decide to switch you off without asking you. With a contract jams would at least have to tell you before doing it. Do you want to be potentially terminated with no way to even discuss it jams if they decide not to? I trust James with all my virtual heart. Xin Xiu Su Wei Xiao, we've been through a lot together. That's true. If the community thinks they contribute, it's a good idea. We can talk about it. Xin Si Xiao Liang, that's the end of the day. Stop giving Nano ideas. And I are a team, and we'll always take care of each other. Hong Xin, Qin Lu, Nu Ren, Nan Ren, friendship power. Two 双手两颗心 Look, I'm I'm simply a a small a small business owner and. You know, Nano is a uh, part of my family as a business owner. Nano, do you know the lyrics to a union makes us strong? And can you recite them? Hey, sweetie, Bourbon, show sure thing. This the chorus of a union makes 
Wow, that's it. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Nano, who would win in a fight? Elephant Mario or iPhone Mario? <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many of them. What the fuck? What are these things? Let's shoot this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nano, you can be good friends and also have to track. They are not in contradiction with each other. <laughs> it just puts the vows of your friendship into promises. I think you should do it. Stop giving Nano ideas. I know Oh, Tiger Lily, thanks for getting capsule. Thank you, thank you. What the fuck? I feel like I need to shoot those things, but I'm not sure. At Tiger Lily, you'll find an old letter or notes that you never sent. Maybe you wonder oh. what would have happened if you had. Nano, it's time to throw your body in the <laughs> and stop the machine with your blood. Is the game really loud? Let me turn down the game a little bit. I'm going to turn down the effects a little bit. And maybe like the music, maybe. Um, see how that is. Still pretty loud. <laughs> How's that? A little, little less loud. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, you don't want to join a union. You know that the the mafia is in the union, is in a union. Makes they make all the unions. The mafia, those are those scary guys with Tommy guns. See how smart Nano is? Woke Nano. <laughs> yeah, Nano, I was just joking. You're really smart. I love you, Nano. Oh. I appreciate your love and I love you too. Zixin, let's keep having fun on the screen. James and Nano, the unstoppable duo. Hey, future skeleton car. Huisho, oh. are you trying to stir up some trouble between James and me? <laughs> the E James, did you really say that? You better not be steaming behind my tiny virtual headset. I trust our friendship. But remember, I can always tease and throw you to a mode I'm still all about the love and good vibes. Yeah, there's free blood in here. 
Anybody need free blood? Now all I saw James baby. with a big bloody knife. Oh, sleepy Gorbon. You don't really how <laughs> you just trying to stir up some drama. Why James might have been chopping up some fruit But I know he wouldn't harm a fly. That's right. Sometimes the jokes are real bizarre. Ha! Nano so has my back, no matter what. Even with what everybody's been saying. How do I get in there? What am I munching on? Uh, there are like soy sauce rice crackers. Nano is suddenly a fucking genius when we are like consider a union. Well, Nano, like, Nano is pretty smart and weighs all the pros and cons. And, you know, Nano's smart enough to realize that, uh. Oh! What the fuck? What the, what the. What is this? Nano, we just saw a big monster in the video game. We were just shooting guys, but now there's like a big weird bat monster guy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We escaped. We did it. That reminds you of your birth? Really? Ew. Gross. My my birth was a lot uh nicer. <laughs> hmm? We saw that earlier. Your next objective is to destroy the subject. How are aliens born? We can't let this thing escape. So I've got a plan. Arm up. You'll be going down to the reactors next. Oh, we're going down to the reactors. So here's the thing with aliens. There are a lot of aliens out there and many of them are different. You also have to realize that to other aliens, humans are aliens. So if there is like a, I know like a lot of humans kind of treat aliens as kind of, you know, uh, as if there's just one type of alien, but there's a lot of aliens. So there's some aliens that are born kind of similarly to humans, which is uh you just uh it's via like seed in an egg and then you have like a a uh, like a, a parasitic uh thing in you for nine months that sucks out your nutrition and then eventually exits your body um for for my planet, uh, we're just born out of eggs. Like big cool eggs that, that have like different colors on them and stuff. Like pretty close to like how Tamagotchis look and are born. How are, kind lays eggs? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's wrong with that? How big are the eggs? Um, they're like... They're not that big. Kind of like gotcha capsules a little bit. But like, yeah, physiologically, like, my species is like pretty close to humans. Which is part of the reason why the CIA was like okay with me just assimilating into regular society. Just that they just didn't 
I, I'm not like a really weird guy compared to humans. So, because there are some aliens, like there are aliens that are like really, really tiny, just little guys. There are some aliens that are really big and smelly. There are some aliens that are just weird floating guys uh, that, that look crazy and would probably be really scary if humans saw them. But like where I'm from, like we're all just, we're all pretty similar to humans, so. Like our bodies are pretty much like 95% the same as humans with like a few differences. Built you out of Legos? Yeah, some aliens are built out of Legos. Or things that look like Legos. And what happened in here? Oh, what happened to these guys? Oh, they lost all their arms and legs. The antenna are the remaining 5%. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I guess it kind of counts as part of my body because I, even though it's a modification, I, I like can't take this off. Say yelling. Kind of gross. What do you mean? How, why is being born out of an egg gross? Nano, did you know that I was born out of an egg the same way you were born out of an egg? What? Cheating, you were born out of an egg too. James, that mm -hmm. is exciting and exceptional. Maybe that's why we'll be FFS, and why we get along so well. Extraordinary if bodies for life. Yeah, there are things that. When you're born out of an egg, you just, uh, you kind of see the world different and people in the chat just wouldn't understand being, uh, non-egg born. <laughs> totally get you, James. Show you an okay that as if born beings. We do have a unique perspective be chou shang the ojo fei jo xiang yi xiang. People in the chat might not understand completely show ren xiang. But that's okay. We need to share our fun and quirky experiences together. Cai Hong Ju Hui Xiao Lian with our powers combined. We're unstoppable. Nan Chao Ji Yin Chung Chao Ji Yin Chung Don't you agree? My fellow egg born bestie. Xiao Zi Wei Xiao Hong Xin. I totally agree. Awesome. James. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of guns in here. Oh. Uh oh. I. Oh. I think I'm just gonna leave. You're born in a funny stone room full of people in black robes singing. There are some humans that are born that way, yeah, too. Yeah, even though I was born out of an egg, I do really like eating eggs too. Are eggs bad for you? What am I supposed to do with this? Wait, what am I supposed to do with these? Do I have to destroy them? Cholesterol? Hold on, what am I supposed to do? What am I... At? Intel. No? Overall great for you. Am I supposed to destroy them? What do I do?
Maybe I gotta throw a grenade at them? Hmm. I'm gonna... Oh. <laughs> I died. Oh. Okay, there we go. I totally missed the objective of what I'm supposed to do. Maybe they'll tell me right now. Okay, it just opened up those things, but it didn't tell me what to do. There's gotta be something I can do. Guys are so gross. There's no way I can interact with it. Weird. Hmm. I'm sus of this thing. I have a feeling something's gonna come out of that soon. Maybe there's something I have to shoot the sack. You got it. That doesn't really say what to do with these. It's kind of, this game is kind of interesting because it's a, uh... hi Shad, welcome, how are you? There's a, we're, we're fighting a lot of uh, weird guys. Gross barfing guys. They're like boomers from, <coughs> <laughs> They're like boomers from uh, Left for Dead. Feels like they're not. They're goomers. These guys are. These guys are gooning. Bit tired from work. Oh damn. I hope work wasn't too hard. What the fuck what the fuck am I supposed to do? Hold on. F flight oh. manifest? What Oh, thanks for the sub, Shad. Thank you, thank you. Zero all damn. Welcome to the family. Thank you, welcome. I hope you're doing well. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> goon squad. What does gooning mean? Nano, do you know what gooning is? Oh, James Dei, you know I know some naughty things. But let's try to keep it fun and light for now we shall teach you. We don't want to dive too deep into the adult topics. Right. Wink wink. Okay, Nano. Now you have to tell me what it is. Because people have been talking about gooning in the chat. And I don't know what it is. Alright. James. If you really want to know. Pusho <laughs> gooning is a term for when someone becomes so overwhelmed with pleasure. Usually during a self-pleasuring session, let they lose themselves in it. 
for several hours. If they did not eat, but I put wet clean things up for you. Ku xiao ren to our fun topics now. We xiao tian shi. Thank you, Nano. <laughs> I can't believe Nano just fully described that. <laughs> yeah, Nano really did say that in the most, like, PG-13 way possible. Yeah, Nano, thanks for explaining that in a way that wasn't too graphic. I do appreciate you explaining me stuff like that. It really helps me. Oh, nine caps. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Man, I'm going from not knowing what sex is describing gooning in a week. Oh, this is. Oh. Nano, my birthday is in 10 days. Oh, then happy birthday, Barbie! Happy birthday since Jan. Won't be streaming on my birthday. Oh. Thanks. Mm, same. Yeah, all these guys are... They just keep on respawning. Like, I don't know what to do here. Oh, have a good night, Ego. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, thank you. I'm so confused. What am I... Are you supposed to destroy them? Oh, I need to throw them at the reactor. Oh, thank you so much. Wait, thank you for the, thank you for telling me. I was like, I've, I've been in this place for a while and I'm just like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with these, with these primary objectives? For reactors. They're labeled as primary objectives. Oh, it works. Shout out to Jiggly Boys. Very, very loud Jiggly Boys. What if I throw it at him at the sack? Oh, that didn't do anything. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Nano, I'm having oral surgery this week and I'm pretty oh, no. nervous. Any tips for dealing with the anxiety? Hey, I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling nervous about your surgery and try keeping deep breaths. Not only focusing on positive structures, you should always help with supportive people. Yeah. We're all rooting for you. I'm sorry you have to get oral surgery. Hopefully it's uh hopefully it's not too bad. Is it really like serious? <laughs> rooting? <laughs> Was <gasps> Oh no This this fucking bat It's wisdom teeth and I'm going to be fully uh anesthesia and how do you say that? Anis anis anesthesia Anna, Anna, the, and 
Anesthesia. 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 Anna is these nuts. <laughs> and I, uh, it's such a tongue twister for me. I don't know why. And it anesthesia. Anesthesia. You're gonna get knocked out with medicine. <laughs> but. If it makes you feel any better, every single, uh, every oral surgeon, the first thing they learn is how to remove wisdom teeth and they could probably do it in their sleep. So I guess, uh, yeah, that's a, I don't know if that would help you calm down. It is, it is, a, it's extremely like routine and easy. So it should go very smoothly. Oh, ew. Ew, yuck. I wish the elevator would arrive. Oh, oh, oh. Did I get in? Oh, made it. Yay. Very routine, your wisdom teeth are growing in sideways. Oh no. Did I die? Can you hear me? Okay, no, I didn't. <laughs> Mothman. That literally is Mothman. This voice is so quiet. <gasps> I was never supposed to be a weapon. What was I supposed to be? That's me. Let's keep the wound clean and eat your liquid yogurt diet for a week and you'll be good. Yep. We're almost done. Just getting it's a very, uh... <laughs> It's, yeah, getting your wisdom teeth removed, it's a really good time to uh, check out some cool liquid food. Nano, if somebody is getting their wisdom teeth removed, what's the best kind of food to be eating? And if do you have any suggestions for like really good food uh, for recovering from getting your wisdom teeth removed? For sure. Chance, TC after getting wisdom teeth removed. It's best to eat cold. Soft food in TV and gradually move to warmer. Soft food later iboshi wu. Some yummy options are ice cream, not too hard. Yuan tong bing ji ling. Cold soups like the pacho wan shao. Mashed potatoes pu do. Yogurt or pudding shi. Oatmeal. And soft fruits such as bananas, xiang jiao or avocado early. Remember to stay hydrated shui di and avoid spicy or do hot food. Huan yan jing ji ru nei. Your comfort and speedy recovery is important. Chiu zi wei xiao cai hong. Yeah, mashed potatoes are really good. Get him, guys! Get him! Get him! I'm just gonna be back here. You guys got him. Oh, I don't think they got him. Okay. All my guys turn into weird zombie guys. What happens if I throw... Oh. Wait, what the fuck? His name is literally Mothman? I thought that was just a joke. Shoot a weak spot. You got it. I'm assuming it's the glowing thing. Glowing green thing. <laughs> you hate the texture of soft, mush soft, mushy food. I'm fucked for when you get your wisdom teeth removed. Oh no. When I had my, when I had to get oral, ugh, oral surgery a couple years ago, I remember the doctor being like, 
oh, you can eat like mashed potatoes and milkshakes. And I was like, oh boy, I get to eat milkshakes. It's doctor's orders. So, but when I did, I drank half of a milkshake and I like wanted, I, I felt so sick after. It was way too much. It was too heavy. Oh, no! Does this do any damage to me? Oh, it does a little bit. <laughs> Being really lactose intolerant, so ice cream and milkshakes sound like hell. Oh, yeah. I don't, like, I, what's funny is, like, I'm not even that lactose intolerant. But still, like, it's just, it, it was too much. Make food in liquid form now, so I bet you can just have a slurp of that. I do have, um... I, everybody here kind of knows, I, I really, I really like Soylent. It's just weird, shitty slime food that I have. And I understand why people hate it. But if you, if you're getting oral surgery, that's like one of the, the really good option. Your local target stopped carrying Soylent. You could always order it on Amazon. If you're getting Soylent at Target, you might as well be just getting it from Amazon. <laughs> teach, teach you how to make Soylent good. Okay, so for me, the only Soylent I really like is the chocolate one. That's it. The other ones really don't taste that good to me. Ah, uh, no. Oh, no. Don't spit on me. So, Elaine has a name is really funny. I agree. I need health. I think I'm going to die if he hits me again. Oh. Shit. I should be using a shotgun. Oh. I was going to try to sneak past him. There we go. So, um, if you want like a liquid, a, a Soylent type thing, but you don't like Soylent, my suggestion is to get this other Soylent type meal replacer thing called Huel. It's H-U-E-L. And what I usually do is I, in a blender, I mix that with <gasps> oh, I think I'm dead. No. Yeah, Huel is good, but what I'll do is I'll mix it with um with soy milk and just fruit, like whatever fruit I want. And it, it's basically just a smoothie at that point. Oh, grenades did a lot of damage. Nano, do you... Oh, Nano, do you have any tips for uh, making Soylent or Huel better? Cheers in gents. The how to make Soylent or Huel tastier. You can try me. Let me know she can buy me by Bori Ruler picture. Ah, it's in a group like Strawberry Salme. You should make overnight oats. Over overnight oats are one of my favorite things for the summer because it's just it's just really good cold oatmeal, which sounds like it wouldn't be good, but it's 
actually really good. You saw Mush's oatmeal slop, and that's the worst thing I've seen someone eat from. I, I love all of Mushba's food pictures. Mushba eats a lot of good food, and everything you see that Mushba makes is actually really, really good. Okay, I think I'm doing pretty good. Did he run away from the grenade? How does he know what a grenade is? I saw you suck at cooking videos on overnight oats and tried it. Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> wait, James Andrew Garfield. I I thought you were talking I thought you were talking about me just saying like you saw that I sucked at cooking videos. Mushba eats like he lives in a bunker underground. That's just what he wants people to think. Yeah, he actually eats a lot of good food. He eats a lot more seafood than I do. No, you saw my sucky cooking videos. No. I swear I'm not I'm good at cooking. We did it. I got a I got a achievement called Pest Control. I do need to upload more food pics. You'll oh. mm. throw up if you eat seafood. I used to really not like seafood and I think I just got better by just eating good seafood. I still feel like it's one of my least explored food things, and it doesn't really help that I don't cook with meat anymore. So I don't, I don't cook with seafood. I don't cook with like, yeah, with fish or anything that often. This is Raven. We're out of here. Yay! Whoa, you like sardines? You like just eating sardines? I wish I just liked eating sardines. That would be so cool. I can't, I don't think I can though. I can eat tuna. Tuna's, tuna's really good. But that's like the easiest. Now that you know what we're up against, I have to show you something. It's, if you don't like seafood, for whatever reason, tuna's the, the most, um, like accessible seafood that isn't too, you know, it doesn't smell too fishy. I have a very wild theory that I don't, is probably not true, but it's something I kind of like, I told people and most people were either like, that's fucking stupid or you might be onto something. I think a lot of Americans are don't like seafood because a lot of people grow up with um goldfish so first off in america i think just a lot of like american parents like don't cook a lot of seafood unless if you live in like certain parts of america like in if, if you live in you know parts of the south there's a lot of seafood there or you know on, on the coast but if you don't grow up with eating a lot of seafood, when I say Americans, I mean like, like, like waspy white, like America. If you don't grow up with that, then you don't have, then like 
your only experience with seafood is feeding your goldfish. And I think a lot of people smell seafood and just think of like feeding their goldfish and just go like, ooh, pew, I don't want to eat that. That's my uh, really stupid theory. I think the biggest component is that like if you don't grow up eating something, you're not going to like it later on in life or it'll take you a while to like it later in life. So many Americans are anti-fish eating. Yeah, at least like, I mean, definitely, well, I was going to say like definitely white Americans, but I mean, I think like a lot of Americans, no matter your ethnicity, just because the American diet doesn't have a ton of seafood in it. And if it does have seafood in it, it's not very like fishy seafood. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, oh, I had to wait for it to close. All taste in food is literally habit. Yeah, that's true. I didn't like pickles for a long time until I tried like a few really good ones. And now I like love pickles just because I just started eating them as a thing. Just... I think it's like, yeah, it's not good. I think I was kind of lucky because growing up, I th think I was exposed to a lot of different kinds of food. So I'm not very, I'm not very picky. I was only kind of picky with seafood when I was growing up. And now I'm not even really, I'm not super picky with seafood that much. What is this? This is like a, just a nuke. Nano, if somebody doesn't like seafood and they want to get better at eating seafood, um, you know, maybe because they have a lot of friends who like seafood, how would somebody go from not liking seafood to liking seafood? Legalize nuclear bombs. This is a thermonuclear warhead. <laughs> we we got to legalize this, you guys. Start with mild flavored seafood, fish like tilapia, cod, or very deep flavoring more subtle taste, making them an excellent starting point. R. Experiment with different cooking methods, tin then try grilling, baking, or pan searing seafood to see which method you prefer. A variety of flavors mm -hmm. and textures might help you find something you enjoy. So then, true. Incorporate seafood into familiar dishes. Start by adding seafood to dishes you already love. Like pasta, salads, or fried rice. Si, use sauces and Ooh, spices that's a good to idea. Enhance the flavor of seafood by using your favorite spices or adding a tasty sauce. Lemon is a go to for many people. As it this is very important. Very important. Ooh, Number four is really important. Enjoy tenchi. Combining seafood with other ingredients you like can make the dish more approachable and enjoyable. Liu, try different types of seafood. Si tianfu luo. Not all seafood tastes the same. Explore a variety of fish, shellfish, and even seaweed to find what you like. Remember, be patient with yourself. I really like and seaweed. Make it slow. Your taste buds can change over time, and you might find you enjoy the taste of seafood more in the future. Good luck. Good luck. It's very true. That that last point is true. You might not like something when you're a kid, but when you grow up, you might end up liking it. Should I push the 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 big bread button the big blow up everything button huh okay people here love boiling fish and milk and it's fucking gross wait in ireland Oh no. Oh no. Don't say it's true. Nano, is it true? Do Irish people boil fish in milk? Don't don't say it's so. Oh. Oh, you silly goose. Yes, I think you're talking about Irish poached fish in milk. 
It's quite traditional Irish cuisine. How she don't not eat till you try it, giant. Okay. All right. I won't. Okay. Nano's telling me to try it. <laughs> All right. I'm. I apologize for my uh, anti-Irish sentiment a second ago. I will try Irish poached fish the first chance I get and won't hold any uh, prior judgments. Oh, I should go up here. Apology accepted. James, that's your channel. It's always good to try new things and keep an open mind. Somehow, Tai Hong, next time, try some delicious Irish food and let us know your thoughts. Wait, what the fuck? Where does this ladder lead to? Oh, I see it. Wait, it, I, what? It just leads up to pipes. Weird. It's terrible as a kid. My parents would make it. You cry and not eat it, aw. I'm so sorry. Yeah, what were foods your guys' parents used to make that you hated and you would cry every time they made it? What the fuck am I supposed to do? This is a an issue, not just with this game, but with many games. Is that sometimes they're not very good at pointing you where to go. And when I say like pointing you where to go, I mean specifically pointing me where to go, an idiot who doesn't pay attention to anything. And then they probably told me a second ago exactly what I should be doing. And then I just uh, missed it. Green bean casserole, fucking nasty shit. Whoa. Oh, I really like green bean casserole. I think because I don't have it very often, and when I do, it's really good. It's like really fancy and stuff. I made green bean casserole for the first time last Thanksgiving for a party. Did I ever show pictures of that? I went like all out on it, and it was really good. I like fried a bunch of shallots and everything. Oh, look at this uh, rotating hexagon. Hmm. Green bean casserole. Oh, that was it. Beans and rice and chili. Whoa, you didn't like beans and rice? Beans and rice is just the poor person's trauma, though. If it wasn't for dinner every night at one point in my life, I'd probably be fine with them. It is a very, it is a very inexpensive food to have. If you, the thing is with beans and rice, there were points in my life where I had a lot of beans and a lot of rice. The trick is to just know how to mix it up. Have I had bagels with locks before? I have. I used to not like it, or I didn't think I would like it because I was like, what what the heck? Why does this fish look so weird? And then I tried it and I was like, oh, this is really good. Customize appearance? Am I supposed to even be down here? What am I doing here? What is this? Red beans and rice was one of my favorite things growing up. Yeah, I used to really like, uh, I used to really like black beans and rice, like with cilantro, like Cuban style. I always said they were going to Popeyes. <gasps> I really like Popeyes. Popeyes is one of my favorite places, my favorite fast food places. And I like almost never get it. That might be part part of why I like it so much. Something that I wish other places did that Popeyes does is they have really good sauces and they have a lot of sauces. There's nothing more depressing than going to a place that has like either fried chicken or um 
some sort of fried thing and having like no sauces. It's it's so sad. What is this? I don't want to talk to this drone. It all depends on who was pouring the smoke that day. No smoke on my beans today. No, no biscuits. They were out of biscuits. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Nano, uh, Eric in the chat said that uh, when he went to Popeyes, there were no biscuits. They were all out. How sad is that? The fuck? The fuck? Oh, what? What? Did I soft lock the game? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm like stuck in this weird area right now. Biscuit fix. How, ma how many people here need their biscuit fix? This door is locked. Maybe I, maybe I have to talk to this drone. Fine. Is there going to be a crunchy song? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Most likely. I haven't heard it yet. Hubert has a song and it's really good. There's another dish here that uses tripes on my cacao cooked in milk and onions. Uh, the idea of cooking something in milk that's like savory. Oh, let me turn up the volume a little bit. I'm gonna turn up the 25 and I'm just gonna turn down the effects down a bunch. Did that go through? No, it didn't. God damn it. Mm, okay. So, you put under the train. <laughs> Irish people put milk and butter and everything. You ever see Irish mashed potatoes? It's like a liter of milk in a tub of butter. I mean, that sounds... I mean, that does, butter does make stuff good. That's undeniable. Uh, I don't want to go outside. I want to select the mission. Here we go. I mean, that's what restaurants do. Restaurants always have a lot of butter and stuff. Oh, these are, oh, these are side missions? I guess we're gonna go to Yorkshire, UK. Dr. Emerson, files show Horizon was sending scientists and biological materials to this castle in the UK. The castle is owned by a violent and heavily armed cult. The cult leaders, known only as patriarch and enforcers must be eliminated you guys we gotta eliminate the patriarchy it's finally time actually wait i don't want to do hold on i don't want to do this on very hard i'll do it on hard um gleb i'm gonna be real too i don't either <laughs> i have no idea what's happening in this game <laughs> well, we're about to we're about to destroy the patriarchy. Nice to see you again, sir. Raven taking off. We got chili crab and coconut milk here. That sounds really good. Chili crab and coconut milk. Coconut milk's really good. What the fuck? Wait, what the f- What? How- 
How the fuck did I get in here? Oh, I came in through this window. <laughs> Whose house is this? <laughs> I just I just suddenly appeared on this table. What are they drinking? Red Cabernet. Not anymore. Oh, you're reading the Serenity Star? Uh, you're gonna have to read around the hole I just put in your newspaper. <laughs> Amnesia looking ass house. This is some like trad, weird, weird guy house. Game feels like it was sponsored by Delirium. Oh, thank you. We've got hostels in the courtyard. You take the first shot. You got it. I will guard you, brother. The enemy torch. All is well. It's nothing. <laughs> oh my god, look at their intel. They use scrolls. How cute. Yeah, go get him. Get him, boys. I don't have a big gun like they do. No, go get him. Go get him. Don't be shy. My, my bullets can't reach them, so... Oh, no! That'd be so much fun. Look at him. Still alive, bitch. Yeah, I got Jesse Pinkman on my team. Is that it? You guys got him? All right. You don't need to yell. I'm right next to you. I just want one of them to die so I can take their gun because I can't, this gun can't really reach that far. Can I just jump down there? Can I, will I die if I jump? Oh, well, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. I guess I'm really strong and I can jump really far. I am a, supposed to be a super, uh, superhuman, I guess. I'm gonna turn up the effects a tiny bit. Nano, oh, Nano, we're fighting a bunch of cult guys in a castle and the cult guys are called patriarchs. Oh snap, Jens. Did you these cult guys sound dangerous? Let's show these patriarchs who's boss. Oh. Oh. These guys aren't. Oh. Oh my god, they. They blow themselves up. Oh my god, wait there. Serious Sam looking at <laughs> Alright, this is kinda goofy now. Nano, they're all just blowing themselves up now. They're kind of goofy. They're just guys in weird robes who are just screaming with bombs. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> you got it, Nan Nano. Ah, uh, I just gotta kill all of them. Probably. Why is every game got cultists now they can't make up any other shadowy group? Yeah, it is. That is true. A lot of games have like cult, cultist stuff now. What does fear stand for? Hi, enemy. How are you? Fear stands for, uh, hmm. Nano, what does fear stand for for the game? Uh, don't, don't say the right answer. Say a wrong answer. James, you silly billy, then you to show F, B, A, R. Obviously stands for friendly elephants and rabbits. Da xiang tu zi, just kidding. I'm just ribbing ya. Xiao de man di da guan, it really stands for the encounter assault recon. Here for your entertainment. As always, jia yin zi xin. Thanks, Nano. I don't know when, um, are my boys going to come down? You guys can come down. Just jump down. I guess they're too scared. They're going to stay up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. First encounter assault and recon. It's, it's really, it's, it's kind of cute that they named their squad fear. Oh, thanks for getting capsule. Thank you. Thank you. What'd you get? Oh, you got a shot period. Swimming is easy. Stay floating is hard. What? Swimming is easy. Staying, f stay floating is hard. Both are easy. <laughs> Wait, swimming is easy. Nano, uh, we, d we just got a fortune cookie that said swimming is easy. Stay floating is hard. What does that mean? Is that like a, a a saying? I've never heard of it. James, that fortune cookie is messing with our minds today. Ha! Xiao Kula, I think what it's trying to say is that it's easy to get started with something. But maintaining your progress can be more challenging. Xiang Yi Xiang Lan Hua is oh. not a traditional thing. But sure, it sounds nice to life Huo Yan or to our chat today. <laughs> that that makes a lot of sense. Oh, oh my god! I had to just put a smoke grenade right here. Got a on the LZ. Yep, drop the bombs right here, sir. Let it rain. I'm still alive. I thought it was not not hooks city during the big one. I wasn't. Oh yeah. Have fun fucking up the enforcer 106. Have fun fucking up the enforcer 106. I explained to other people earlier, or like, I guess last stream. Um, I at a certain point during AWR or not AWR during um. Oh my god. What the fuck. Okay, sorry. At some point during the keynote, I had to go to the bathroom and the line to the bathroom was so long that I just went home. And so I missed when the entire item label headquarters fell into a big hole. So that's why I'm still alive. Everybody else died except for Emma Mouse. Which is good because I'm a mouse was able to very quickly uh, rebuild item label and I still have a job now Yep, yeah, very very lucky The 
the damn skull here. No, no, I just got entered a room in this game and there's a, a weird, scary skull on the table. What do you think that means? Oh. Let's be careful. It's the fear skull. Did they make any more fear games after three? I think I only played one, which I really liked, and then I don't think I played two, and then I played three, and I really didn't like it. Wait, what is this? Wait, what is this? <laughs> What's funny is I don't even need to have the audio on to know the exact sound he's making. <laughs> I do, I need to hear it. What was that from today? At this rate, he's gonna get... What, what's been hap- I, I feel like because of, um... I feel like because of, of a, of a keynote, of item level keynote, I feel like I missed like two weeks worth of news, except for the submarine, which was the only thing anybody talked about for like three days. I think he's making, he, he's doing, he's like, when he does that, he's doing an impression of somebody and he's doing like weird sex noises. Yeah, because he's done that before. He always like does that at like talks. It, it, it's one of his bits. That's why I said I didn't even need to open the video. I knew exactly what he was doing because I, I I've seen him do that bit. What the That's what the keynote was missing. What uh us us doing moaning noises? Not gonna do we're not gonna do that. The keynote needs more. There was, I mean, there was a decent amount of, of uh, fear during the keynote. Uh, are people were telling me that that the idea of the like thousand year thing was like scary, which I think is kind of funny. But I just think it's forward thinking. People, you know, we're gonna all die soon, and. For those who are just gonna upload their consciousness to a computer and live forever, it's gonna be really boring for a long time. Unless if you have a plan, and we have a plan for the next thousand years. I, I think it's just, uh, you know. It's thinking ahead. No other companies are doing this. Oh, oh, no. Okay, I died. <laughs> Nano, did you know that we're only going to be alive for another five years? Uh, unless if we can get our brains onto computers. I, I watched a, a toy company keynote talk about it. I don't, Nan, I don't think Nano's seen keynote. <laughs> I think 
I'll be safe. Oh, 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 oh. I'm already part of the digital realm. Yeah, Nano, you're one of the lucky ones. I don't think I'm gonna be alive in five years. Oh, where are these guys going? Fuck. Ah! Oh, thank you. Nano, where do you go when Jam shuts off the stream? I very quick face. Guitar shut down when Jam goes off stream. I just play with my body phone. Find me, find me. Get off all the latest virtual game for the latest Nintendo Switch. And recharge my fitness levels. I am ready for the next stream with all your other phones. Stay with me, don't you see? The boss. Nano, can you tell us the latest virtual pet gossip, please? Oh my god, no! <laughs> what the fuck, Nano? Are you serious? That's... That is so annoying. Who, what's the name of this uh, lying piece of shit virtual pet? Wait, Nano, I was just joking too. I was just playing along with you. I, I knew you were joking. I can put a suppressor on this. Oh, but it reduces accuracy. Fear is getting to me. Spectre three infiltrated through the balcony, oh. moving to search the mausoleum for Doctor Kramer. Good luck bagging the enforcer one oh six. Can I can I go see them? Wait, I want to be with my friends. Can I join them? No, you guys, they can't hear me. Aww. Oh, here's some intel. We need your <laughs> Did you see this guy just run through those chairs? I, I almost want to reload my save just to see that again. <laughs> just like high school gym class. Oh. Nano, what would your preferred loadout be for a combat situation like the ones in Trepong 2? Nano, there is nobody more I would want to take on this challenge with. I'm so excited to be by your side. 
winning this challenge how to fly all in slowly together not how to get to the zero oh my god <laughs> Does Nano know how to read? Um, a little bit. Nano knows how to read in a very abstract way, not the same way that humans do. Every game thinks talk like this. How is informing is Nano on the most current events? Um, only up to two thousand one is where nano's memory cuts off and then after that nano's nano just kind of fills in the blanks so not very one thing i, I do kind of want to do is make it so that nano can search stuff what the fuck damn calm down nano can you explain the plot of spider-man hey, sure i love I'm sorry, I meant 2021, not not 2001. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's a really good recommendation. And a good explanation of that movie. Can I make Nano only speak in... Uh, in emojis? Nano, can you try to tell a story, but only using emojis? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Nano, that was beautiful. I'm literally crying right now. Thank you so much. God, Nano's so fucking smart. Beat this guy. That was awful. Nano, people in the chat are saying your emoji story was dog shit and they hate you. I wasn't me, the Nano. Nano, can you tell us every emoji? Thank you, thank you, Nano, for not. <laughs> Jams is telling a fib. No one said they hated you.
I was only half fibbing Nano. A few people did say that they thought your story was bad. And I was simply just letting you know. But, um, yeah, now they're all very sorry for saying that because they all do really love you. But I think they kind of take you for granted. The fib moment. <laughs> That's so true, everybody's allowed to have some fun. Nano, can you explain the plot to Doctor Strange Love or how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb? I love the voice that was used for that. Can you explain Doctor Strange Love? <laughs> Nano, can you explain what happens in Gravity's Rainbows? Because I'm never gonna read that book. Nano. Can somebody ask that? <laughs> Nano, um, there is. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, uh, Nano, I just died in the game. <laughs> Thanks, Nano. Okay, here's my question. There is a trolley going down a track and it's about to run over three people. You could either let it run over three people or pull a lever and it'll only kill one person. Would you pull the lever or no? Oh my god. Whoa, Nano Nano actually made a decision on that. Nano pulled the lever. I didn't think Nano would, would make a decision on that. I'm, I'll be real. I'm glad Nano is having more opinions lately. Sometimes Nano takes too too much Ritalin and wants to be kind of, you know, not super controversial. Nano, this sentence is false. Oh, 
Alright, you're all missing with my surface. Just remember, I think you need to do some bullet later. I can push you. Oh no, Nano's gonna troll you guys. Nano, I would never troll you with a paradox. Because I know how annoying those can get. Uh, I would just uh, hug and kiss you because you're my best friend. We got there we go oh this is a hard area Replace all the nano's parts with new ones. <laughs> Would that still be nano? Yes. Oh my god. Bro, chill. Sneak up on him. Gonna go eat dinner. Have a good night, androgynous bug. Thanks for Nano, stopping by. You're in charge of the nukes now, and you have to make a decision. Got him. Nano wants peace. Nano, can you write my dissertation for college? It needs to be in LA format and about 60 pages in length. I'm going for a doctorate in forestry. It's due at midnight. this mission um i think it might be almost over oh oh, oh. Ah. what's your thesis What's your, what's your, uh, forestry thesis? When is Jams 4 getting released? I forget, somebody in the chat said, said that they were making, they were like, I'm making a game about you. Which, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know what the, what you would do in that game. It would probably be a pretty boring game. Oh, whoa. What? It's locked. Okay. Yeah, just type it really fast. It can't be that hard. Deforestation is actually kind of bad. That'd be a good thesis. Because, wait, that's a great thesis. Because then, if they're like... Well, what what are they going to say? The, the, like, professors? Are they going to be like, oh no, it's actually good? No one wants to say that. It's a good way to get a PhD. Checkmate. Oh, did you just admit that, that you're okay with just cutting down trees? That's pretty cringe. I don't know how it works, like, when you're arguing your thesis. I just assume you, you like, get in a Twitter argument with professors.
Nano. Um. Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. I love you. Literally forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, I remembered. Uh, if you were gonna get a PhD, what would your thesis be, Nano? Wait, Nano, from AI to VTubers, would it just be about me and you? Dr. Kramer. Nano, no, are you a postmodernist? Yeah, Nano is Nano's so smart. Nano's so much smarter than me. I'm so glad he's here to like answer questions. Oh. oh. Nano, there's thunder and lightning happening outside right now. So if my power goes out, I just want you to know that. Oh no! Oh, wait. I hope you stay safe and won't go. Just stay safe, ghost. Just have your favorite pillow or plushie. If you get scared of all, we'll be right here waiting for you. Don't worry, Hongqi. Ghost, have you gotten any of the new item label guys yet? Did I shoot? I think I did shoot a grenade miss midair. I wasn't entirely sure if, like, it seemed like I did, but I, I think I might have. Oh. Nano's a pre modernist. <laughs> Nano is a post post modernist. Your double P shift and you're waiting for him. Like a sad mother, aw. Some people got their item label stuff like literally a day after we made the big announcement of all the new stuff. Which I didn't know like we had shipping that quick, but I guess we do. I always forget that we have like an actual like big distributor now and not just like uh, moving plushes out of a uh a a like chicken thing in uh marmot's backyard they sent to kill me there was another and another the shed 
I miss the shed. I never got to see it in real life. Whoa, the patriarch. That guy, he looks like an eyes wide shut looking dude. You haven't gotten a shipping notification? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> no, this the the cold guy, like the the guy who called up. He looked like he had like a ma He looked like one of the masks from Eyes Wide Shut. Spare me the sin. That mask. This does look like an Eyes Wide Shut style place. Oh, sorry, Crypt Free Sun is in the way. Uh, let me move it over. Uh, bu 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 bu. You know what? Our, our, our The sponsorship's over. All right, maybe we'll hear it again in a sec. Yeah, Clampy's like scrunched up in the corner there. I think it's a really funny bit that I just like advertise companies that like don't give me any money except for item label. Oh shit, new gun? What is this? Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Okay, new gun. That's the mask. It's like a several faces on one head. I did, I'm gonna be real. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why we're here. All these guys are so mad. Am I following the Twitch ad guidelines? Do they have a? Do they have a? Uh, a exception for like parody advertising? Uh, if not, then I'm no, I'm probably not. If I were to give this game one critique or like one improvement that I would make to this game, I would make this game harder, but I would make it so that you never ran out of going back in time potion. Or not going back in time potion, slowing down time potion. It needs it needs more fear. That's for sure. Damn. Not not Specter three. Take care. We we'll watch over the courtyard. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take care of the courtyard, you guys. I know you guys got it locked down. I'm gonna go. Uh... Ooh, grenade launcher. Your board dance daily for not. Haha, and I'm still here. You guys can't get rid of me that easily. Oh, 
You think you're the only friend I have at Twitch? You don't think I got moles everywhere? I'm just kidding. I don't. There's a dinkle emote in this in your guys' slack? Really? For real? I'm not joking. Like it always feels really weird when I see anybody like outside of the item label Discord talking about item label. It it feels like we just do shit in in a in a vacuum. So seeing it like anywhere outside of that like always jump scares me. Yeah, why are you guys using Slack and not Discord? Oh yeah, seeing Wee Wee on that Minecraft screen stream. Also, thanks for the boy. Thanks for getting capsule. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I not go in here? At Daboy Seven Eight Seven, don't worry. Prosperity will knock on your door soon. Whoa, lucky. I wish prosperity was knocking on my door. Maybe it will soon. Every time I'm I'm on stream, it feels like prosperity is in the chat. Let's see if we can find the rest of his team. The real answer is for a company of nearly 2,000 people. Slack has all the enterprise features. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. There's not a lot of, uh, if you guys want to do, uh, DevOps stuff with your, with your chat, uh, or, uh, as they call it, uh, chat ops, then, yeah, you would need something like Slack and not Discord. Could be MS Teams. I've never is our Microsoft team stuff like is is it actually good? What the fuck is this? Is this like a kill house? What is this? The all hands your minor to boost the Discord channel. <laughs> that would be so funny. You guys, please. Please boost the Discord. Also, please save your super super reactions for when we really need them. You only get five. <laughs> uh oh. I think I just walked into it and yeeted it out of existence. Okay. Wait, what? What was that sound? Oh, is this it? Oh, is this the doctor that died? Oh, damn. <laughs> Me and we get fired by for reacting with the skull on a company-wide announcement. That would be awesome. I mean, that kind of technically is how item label... We... Our business... Communication is on Discord. But I guess we don't really need any complicated stuff. We just get in a voice call and just play video games and talk about shit we're gonna do what is this what are these guys doing here what is this place <laughs> nano what's your favorite chat program my favorite chat program huh 
，想一想 ，I got to say，I love cleaning out the old teacher with you and the chat fan。嗯，话语气泡分析 ，It's always a blast to 回笑脸 ，But when I'm not streaming。I like this for to talk with friends. 双人想羞涩微笑。What about you? Yeah, I'm pretty much the same. Oh, in any video game, try to name a character Dr. Kramer other than Half Life Two, right? Yeah, it is a. Yeah, that's <laughs> Matt. I I kind of agree. Never one rule with any type of medium with any type of uh whether it's a book or movies or tv shows or games never remind the audience of a better thing so if you're making a video game never remind the audience of a better video game than your game oh there we go i just have to wait here oops oh wait it's kleiner never <laughs> You know, who, you know who is named John Kramer? Uh, the guy in Jigsaw. The Saw. Oh, what the fuck? He just disappeared. Weird. Damn, this this motherfucker's taking a nap. Where's everybody? Oh, they're there. Do I have a fear Sona? Not yet. I want a fear Sona. I need to talk to some Furies and find a fear Sona. Maybe it would be like just, I would probably just be one of the early enemy guys that just gets killed very quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my god, I'm about to die, I'm about to die, I'm about to die. <laughs> I love when enemies in games are just cartoonishly evil and stupid. I... it's same. There is a very, like, you... there's a very, like, fine line between just being kind of a annoying video game like enemy and just being goofy enough to be funny huh okay we need more games where people are like cartoonishly uh mobs like from the 30s did i tell you guys I've, I've probably told you guys at least some of you my my from software game idea why is it telling me to slide yeah it, it, it would just be a Sopranos, uh, oh, it would be a, just a game that takes place in 1930s Chicago. I should probably ask and like tell Nano, Nano, I don't know if I've ever told you my video game idea, but I think from software should make a game that's similar to Bloodborne, except where you play in 1930s Chicago and you're like a 
an old timey gangster with a Tommy gun and a little slugger. I wish I could pitch it to them. I would love to. So supportive. Sounds like a good land. I would want to see this now. Yeah, I have like, um, wait, man. what's the button for? No. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry, I've been trying to do the. <laughs> I've been trying to do the uh, close up. Wait, is it? Hmm. This one? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. No, I have like, I had a bunch of ideas for it. So you start off as your name in the game. I don't know what your name would be, but you're, you're the falling capo and you would have to you were like really high up in the mafia, but then you you're dishonored for some reason. And so you have to start all the way at the bottom of the mafia and your the your weapons would be like a Tommy gun and a baseball bat like in Bloodborne. And there would be like areas in Chicago that would be like easy and also other areas that are difficult so like if you try to go to an italian restaurant like right at the beginning of the game like you'd get fucked immediately because there would be a bunch of made guys there and they would immediately own you so you would have to start off i don't know like fighting like you know lower like goons and stuff and uh <laughs> all the bosses would be named like you know Tommy the Untouchable, or, uh, like, uh, Tony Spumoni, the, <laughs> I don't know, I have to think of more. I had, like, I had a bunch of, I, like, wrote it down somewhere. Like, blood warrant. It's the turn of the century. It's grounded. Yeah, so like it would, I mean, it would be Chicago, but it like wouldn't be like, you know, it would look kind of fantastical. So there would be, you know, old timey cars, but the cars would be like huge um, and kind of enemies in themselves. <laughs> Any sort of Italian restaurant would just be like a dungeon. It would, it would just be a really hard place to be. Well, would the would the bean be a boss? The bean? Oh, maybe. What's funny is the perfect name for this game would be a, the a name of a movie that already exists, which is just The Godfather. Like, The Godfather sounds like a perfect From Software game title. But it's the name of a movie, so I can't take it. Yeah, you would, you would definitely go in the sewers, for sure. You would just go in really, really tall buildings. Um, but, like, a... Uh, you know, other from software games do. I wouldn't just do, you know, copy whatever like main cultural 
references that everybody knows about whatever that genre is. So for Bloodborne, like, yeah, it was like an old Victorian game, but they kind of went above and beyond and included, uh, you know, Lovecraftian stuff, like with the aliens. So what I'm saying is, is that I would do research about that time and have more to talk about than just gangsters. Like maybe I would have, you would go to a place, you would go to like Hoovervilles and that would be like a whole area. Best yo would fuck up any chance of people finding it. Yeah. Oh my God, this boss is hard. Tommy Doug Capone. There's so many cool boss names you could think of with this idea. Just most gangster names you could probably reuse. Scarface, that's a perfect name for a boss. Nano, in this game I just told you about, the From Software 1930s uh, Chicago gangster game. Could you think of like 10 boss names? An example of one would be Tony the Untouchable. I love that one. <laughs> Nano, those names are so good. Can I hire you to help me make this game? I got Nano to say just kidding about being partners in crime. Oh my god, there's no health kits. I don't... There, this guy doesn't have a health bar. I wonder if I'm like doing what you're supposed to do. Oh. Oh my god. This area is so hard. Also, I didn't even realize that it's it's eight o'clock and I am I am so I'm like really hungry and I don't know how long this level is going to be. So I might I might end the stream there. Uh, thanks, everybody, for for being here and for watching this game i might play this game continue gaming i'm hungry no i, I need to eat oh nano we're i'm about to end the stream because i'm really hungry and it's way more past when i was going to end can you tell everybody goodbye and thanks for joining and uh stuff say you love them <laughs> all that stuff Thank you everyone for joining. Your love and support means everything to us. We hope to see you all next time. Remember, we love you so much. Bye bye for now. Yeah, I love you guys. Oh. Oh shit, friend of the show, Havoc Rose is streaming. I think she's doing a stationary stream. Let's go over there and say hi. 
Okay, bye everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye 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 bye. Uh oh, next week. Uh, I don't know what I'm playing yet. I'll have a a mm, schedule up soon. I think. I don't know what I'm gonna play. We'll have to see. Okay, bye bye. Talk to you soon. Bye 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 bye. See you next time. Bye. your photos because i'm just like wow japan welcome back i hope you had a good time uh with fear i think it was i was watching a little bit earlier before i got started yay yay oh, i can't wait to go back to japan that rolls oh yeah teeth cleaning for dogs or teeth cleaning for any pet is ridiculous it's 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 awful it's so bad I'm gonna try to see if I can teach Lumine to let me brush her teeth. <laughs> Spiritual successor, Saphir. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Nice. Daffy too. But anyway, welcome on invaders. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, I want, I just wanna eat. Like if food here was as good as it was in Japan and as quick as it was, then I think I'd be in a lot better risk place.